How's it going? It's Tony Bruco from GuitarJams.com. I wanted to uh, show you my Martin guitar. This is an HD16. Um, this guitar is this guitar is made sort of for doing more finger picking, more uh, sort of bluegrassy kind of stuff. Um, I like it because I do a lot of a lot of picking kind of things like this. And the difference is that the spacing between the strings is a little wider. As you can see, the sound hole's a bit bigger. It has a nice, full, rich tone. So I love this guitar. I wanted to show you uh, some slide licks in open D tuning. Now, if you don't know about open D tuning, you can see Marty Schwartz's lesson on um, how to tune. Ah, there he is, look, there he is. How to tune your guitar to open D. But uh, basically what we have here in open D is you're playing the, the D major chord open <laughs> whilst surfing through the scene. <laughs> <laughs> but what we have here is we're gonna we're gonna make uh, we're gonna have um, your open D chord and then your slide you're gonna be basically sliding to the fifth fret the seventh fret and the twelfth fret oh, and also you can slide from the second to the third so those are all the things we're gonna do and I'll show you how uh, we can use those so let's say we just get a basic strum Playing D, playing D, playing D, yeah, you know it's cool. Okay, so we can slide from the second to the third fret. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure you, when you slide, you don't go past the fret, or you want to be kind of right behind the fret with just a nice firm amount of pressure, not too hard, not too soft. Just like this. Okay, so let's try this little lick right here. And what you're going to do is slide from the second to the third, and then let go. Okay, so then you can sort of incorporate that. You got this cool little blues, blues lick. Now if you want to change it up, you can slide to the fifth. Kind of hold it there. As you can see what I'm doing here is sort of a vibrato thing. It's kind of back and forth. This kind of gives it a little, a mm, little greasiness. You know what I'm saying? So let's try that again. Go back to the sliding from the second to third. Then you can go to the seventh. Back to the fifth. Sliding from the second to third. Now here's a cool thing too. You can slide to the twelfth fret, and basically what that's doing is it's playing the same thing as this, but in a higher octave. So just like that. Again, right behind the fret, as you can see there. So um, let's incorporate that as well. So go to the fifth. There's a basic sort of blues progression that you can do with a slide and have some fun with it. So this is Tony from GuitarJams.com. Be cool, take care, we'll see you again soon.